Okay, so here, so in the Java, uh, we used to know, okay, so this is, oops, in JavaScript. Oops, in JavaScript. So here in this, uh, this is what I'm, I'm, here I'm explaining about how this works in Java, then we will go for works in JavaScript actually, okay. So all, as we have seen already in the works concept, just I'm making it a little elaborate. So in Java, what we used to have, we used to have the variable declaration. Something like integer age and uh, string name. This used, we used to have one. The same way we can declare in JavaScript as well, but in a different pattern, but mostly syntax will be same. Which means in JavaScript, in JavaScript, what we need to do, we need to we need to have the, the same thing like class, and here we may have the same thing, the class sample. What we have done you see, till now, it will be same like a JavaScript only. Okay, sorry, till now it's, it will be like same as like uh, Java only. So when we want to declare a variable. He, we need to use constructor. In Java, we can do the variable declaration outside of the constructor, right? But in the Java script, we have to do the <coughs> variable declaration inside the constructor only, not in the outside of constructor, which means uh, we are having the same method called constructor. And in Java, we used to have uh, same name, right? The, the constructor name will be same as like uh, method name, sorry, class name, but here in the JavaScript, we we are having a method called constructor itself. So this is the constructor method. Okay, here, uh, the variable, same variable. If we, if we want to have age and the name, uh, so we need to create like this dot age. So here I need to put the age. This dot name is equal to name. So this name and age is like a parameter if you want, then we can have age and name. And one more thing, as we know earlier, as we, as I said earlier, JavaScript does not have a data type, which is not, which is nothing but it's like a loosely typed language, but Java is a strongly typed language. So which means whenever we want, we have to use uh, data type. But here in, a, in, a, in our uh, JavaScript, it does not have any data type. So we are uh, mentioning, we are not mentioning the data type for the variables actually, okay. So this dot h, this dot name, all these things we are mentioning here. Okay, which means, uh, so this is what about creating a simple class here. And after that, we can have a method same like in Java. So in Java, we used to have a method like public uh, integer get gauge. This is the one we are having now. So here, return, dot h so we used to have the like this one. the same way i can do it for like this so which means here in the javascript also but only thing is we don't need to mention the data type as javascript is not expected to mention the data type and um, moreover javascript is not strongly typed language is as like as in java so here we can mention like same get h this is enough and here as you can see here here from here i can change like um, console.log, whatever I want, no, I want just mentioning the console.log, this study. So what will happen, this will print in the console. So this is very simple thing. In terms of if you want to write anything in DOM or something, document object model, there I need to use like document get element by ID. Here I need to mention the ID and all these things. Whatever we have seen in the HTML integration, right? The same thing I can do it here as well. So HTML code. So this is like a, like this we can able to do in, in JavaScript. So this is what about main thing. So if you know Java, little things only will be changed for JavaScript. So most of the things will be same as like Java only. Okay, next come to the um, object creation. So again in Java, we used to have a main function to compile the Java Java class. But here in JavaScript, there won't be any scenario like uh, main function and that because everything will be run our own scenario only. So here uh, to create an object in Java, So in Java, what we used to do, so we used to like variable, sorry, in Java, we used to like um, sample, which means the class name. 
object equal to new sample. Okay, so this is the one uh, we are doing the sample. This is so this is in Java. In JavaScript, what we need to do? Variable. We can declare any variable. So we are declaring variable. So it's a keyword actually. Okay. So variable, and I can mention like obj is equal to equals new sample. And here, as we have done earlier, this constructor expects the two parameters. So I need to pass the parameter is nothing but not one, comma some name. Okay. So this is what about creating the object actually. Okay. Now maybe I can mention it. Java. Okay, and then uh, when I want to call the method, we can use the same thing now. Object dot get h. It. it will this will applicable for both Java and JavaScript. So using the object, I am just calling the method actually. Calling method using objects. That's it. This will be common for both Java and JavaScript. So this is the very simple syntax for uh, Java the Java JavaScript OOPs concept. Okay, so which means we are declaring a variable and we are having one method and we are creating an object and we are running all these things actually. Okay, so all this JavaScript code can be write written as we have uh, done on last class, which means we can have a internal JavaScript like this and here itself we can write our own JavaScript. So it does not expect anything newly to write a OOPS based uh, JavaScript. So we can write it in a, the same way. What were uh, we are doing the normal JavaScript in the same way we can implement it for this as well. Okay, so now uh, what I am going to do is I am going to create a simple OOPS based JavaScript and we will do it here. So here, okay, maybe I am creating a new file called. Oops in JS. Okay, maybe I will change it. So this is the file I'm creating. Um here I'm mentioning like model. So head, head and the body actually, okay. So now mm, here I can do the same thing like sorry, we need to open class, right? Okay, class person I'm creating. Okay, so this person as usual the same constructor to create a variables. So here we can't create an external one. So we need to get like this dot age equal to age, this dot name equal to name. And here I can mention like age comma name. And here uh, print details. This is the method I'm just writing. As you show in the Java, we used to do you know, the same way print details. So here I'm mentioning like in the console. Initially, I'm just mentioning in the console. So console this dot age dot name. So uh, next one I'm getting is get age. So this is will return the age actually. So here I'm mentioning this dot age. And next one is get name. Here I'm mentioning like return this dot name. Okay. So like this we can create whatever the methods we want. But here, as you can see here, it does not expect like in Java, sorry, in Java, yeah, correct. So we don't need to mention any data type or something. So just automatically it will identify the method name, sorry, uh, data type and it will work out, it will return, accordingly it will return the data type, the value. So it does not expect any data type, particular data type, okay. So these are the ways of creating the classes in JavaScript. And uh, as usual, this is not the one, right? Just we have declared the class. But to execute a method, we need a 
object to create object mm, uh, so below the class below of the class i am just declaring a object like Forty-five comma test. So this is mentioning even dot age. So the next one is uh, so these are the values I'm just printing here. So console dot log the same way what we have done in that. So even dot sorry I don't get the variable I'm just. Yes. So this is the one I'm just mentioning here. Okay, that's it, right? So okay, now I will execute this one. So now I think it should print something in the console. Yes, as you can see here, it prints something. But let me refresh one more time. Undefined is coming. Maybe some variables is not. Okay, that's because uh, this print details. It will print only. It will print something. It won't. Return anything. So what I can do is I don't need to print all these things. I can just okay. So as you can see here now, the part fit is part fit is getting. I think uh, look, now we are we are just accessing this method as well as we are printing the details as well. So all these things will get executed. So this is what about just so here creating the object and here. Or maybe I can say like calling the values. Okay. So these are the two things we are having actually. So we are having a age and we are having a name as well. So both of the things is displayed here. So okay. So any doubts here? Anything like uh, object creation, variable declaration, or anything? Okay. It's fine. Okay, so we will go for the uh, next topic, uh, which is nothing but. What are the other things we need to do? Okay, and the same way the parameter, no parameter also we can do actually. So what I can do is, uh, yeah, I will create some other method. The same way I think already have sent a parameter in the constructor, but though if you want to have some addition method, like here it will expect like mom one comma mom two. One plus one. Okay, this is the one I'm just accessing. And here, 
even dot add dimension like four comma five. So if I refresh it, it has to print. Yeah, I think I need to print the output. As you can see here, the nine will be printed. The reason is the reason of the reason is become the reason why nine is printing is we are passing the parameter four comma five to the method called add. It expects the two parameters. One is nothing but num one num two. So here we are mentioning like num one plus num two. Due to that, the four four comma five will be printed in the console. So again, so this is very important in terms of JavaScript interview. So whenever <laughs> whenever you are uh, If people is asking like what about loops in JavaScript, so this is the answer. The first thing is we need to mention the class class level, and then we need to call the constructor to declare the variables, and we need to mention the methods whatever we want. Okay, so this is the so this is the way for JavaScript loops concept. And in terms of <coughs> variables, in case if we want to, we can go with this kind of architecture also. But this is the proper way as is the recent way of creating the proper classes in terms of javascript actually okay so in the javascript we can do the same thing like extends inheritance so all these things we can do it here okay so i think i can do it one second i think we can do the inheritance as well so which means so in this inheritance we can do the same thing whatever we have uh, we are having in java java right the same way only it is not that much difference if you know java all this basic concept it will be very easy for to very easy to understand everything actually. okay so here i am having a person so what i am going to create i am going to create like class for some simple, simple thing for us so here as usual the same thing constructor string new okay so this is the one so this dot name equal to new okay this is one i am creating and here i am not going to have all these things i will delete everything so this is example for inheritance so here i am mentioning animal extends forest so here i am constructor so in the constructor i am going to have forest name comma animal name see so we have our style okay this is what so now from here i need to call First, initially I need to call the parent class. So, in same in Java, we need to call the super. So here I need to put like forest name. That's it. And here this dot animal name is equal to animal name. That's it. This is what about inheritance in the JavaScript actually. Okay. So here what I can do is I can create a maybe here a simple method like show. console dot log animal name is so here I mention again this dot animal name plus this dot parse name so again as you can see here in this animal class I never mentioned anything for a second okay. So again, it's like a Java only. So again, uh, I'm just this forest name will be inherited from the parent class called forest. So here I'm mentioning like forest. 
and i am creating an object for line equal to new animal mentioning like forest name is like a africa lion it should be instant. okay In the same way i can create it for tiger as well so here i am mentioning like tiger tiger here it should be then up something okay so now here from in the lion dot show so this will call this thing tiger dot show okay so these are the two things i'm just mentioning so now um js inheritance inheritance i'm just opening the file So as you can see here, animal name is lion, forest name is undefined. I think that's because why? I think I can't understand. Sorry, I can't get this one second. Get name. So from here I mentioned like get this dot name. Yeah, yeah, this is the way actually. Okay, so mention so I will call this. Okay, this is the way we can answer. Yeah. So animal name is lion and uh, forest name is Africa. So as you can see here, this is the way of printing the method actually. Yeah, I'm still. I think we should not use the this actually. This will refer only this thing. So I think. <coughs> Let me try this thing once again. Okay, that's fine. I didn't put something. Okay, this is the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here, forest name is name, animal name is animal name. I think. Uh, okay, it should be like forest name. Then we will understand it. Forest name. So here also I put like forest name. Okay, that's the reason I initially it was not working. So if I refresh it, you can see here animal name is lion and forest name is Africa. Okay, but though in case if I want to access parent class method, then I can use the same like I I can use the this dot get name automatically will go to the this. So this is what about extends, which is nothing but inheritance as we have seen in the Java. So again, there won't be any major difference between Java and the Java script roots concept. So if we you know Java script roots concept. So if Java roots concept, then it will be easy for us to understand this as well. Okay, there won't be any major difference in terms of roots concept. Only thing is the syntax will get changed. The most thing is like Java is a strongly typed language. JavaScript is like a not strictly typed language. It is very loosely typed language. It does not expect the parameters. Okay, that's it. So any other doubts regarding this thing? Okay, here as we have done in Java, the same super will go for the parent class constructor. All these things actually. Okay. And then uh, that's it. I think here after, uh, yeah, mostly I think here again here also we are having a methods called interface. All these things we are having here. Okay, that we will see in Java script like. Sorry, that all the interfaces, all the hoops concept we will see uh, in uh, Angular TypeScript actually. That it will be very easy for us to understand. Okay. 
So any other questions? Okay, I think the interface standard will be there in uh, if not in the JavaScript. I think JavaScript is very such. Okay, okay, guys. So I think uh, in terms of uh, Oops concept, this is the one. Okay, so here from here we may, if you want access any particular uh, button, I think that this also can be possible. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is maybe I will create a button. So, oops, in, in head and so on. So, here I am going to open the button. It will call. So here I'm mentioning, I'm calling this method, slime.show. So let me try this thing. Okay, as you can see here, whenever I am clicking this method, it will show that it will call the oops JavaScript. So before and all, here and all you can write. So whenever I am calling the method, I used to call the method using the event name, which is nothing but the message actually. Okay, but whenever I want the particular uh, value, or oops based JavaScript, then I have to choose the method like this actually. Oops in JavaScript actually, okay. So in this way only I need to call this method. So there won't be any major semantics here. So the same way how we are calling the okay, the same way how we are calling this time. So this is the way. So any doubts here? Uh, if you want, we can go for some other thing. Okay, so any other questions? Okay, I will go for the, the same thing. If I want to access them value in the input box or in the DOM view, I can do something. But here I'm mentioning, here I want to uh, paste the value means then I can do the same thing. Which means ID text I'm just mentioning here. And in this text, I can 
all the method so here here i can do the same text so dot my dot and i here text dot in the html equal to i'm copying this thing and I'm pasting it here okay. okay so now i am printing the content in the website itself as you know here so this is the, this thing already we have done in a normal javascript but here we are doing with a use based javascript okay so here as you can see here it got printed here also okay okay so this is what about javascript Use with JavaScript, so, but in uh, Angular it will be it will be in a different manner. It, entirely it will be in different manner. So okay. So here the uh, interview questions mostly will be command like how to show the value from the methods using the hoops concepts, and uh, the same way like how can we access the, how can we pass the parameter to the method how can we call the method from the button click how can we uh it included or how can we write the query to the particular method okay so which means uh, like dynamically passing the parameter something in variables so all these things you can easily <coughs> do it here actually okay so this is all about javascript oops concepts so any other doubts if not then we will go for the the next main topic is so the type script okay the next thing is we are going to see for the type script actually okay so Okay, the next thing what we are going to see is the TypeScript. 